This video looks at two questions involving powers and certs. Now in part one we are asked to write 125 times root of 5 in the form 5 to the power of k. Now we know that 1 to 5 is the same as 5 to the power of 3. And the square root of 5 is the same as 5 to the power of a half. So therefore this is equivalent to 5 cubed times 5 to the power of a half. Now when you multiply, we know we just have to add the powers. So this is the same as 5 to the power of 3 plus a half, which is 3 and a half, or 7 over 2. So k just equals 7 over 2. In the second part, we're asked to simplify an expression with a 10, a 7 root 5, and 38 over 1 minus 2 root 5. Now the method here is to look at the fraction to begin with. So 38 all over 1 minus 2 root 5. Now we must basically rationalise this and see what happens. So I must times the top and bottom by 1 plus 2 root 5. So I've not actually changed the fraction, but as we'll find out, this expression becomes simpler. Now then, if I times the top out, 38 times 1 is just 38, plus 2 times 38 is 76, root 5. Now then, for the bottom of the fraction, we expand using a smiley face or foil, whatever you find best. I tend to use the smiley face, so 1 times 1 is 1. Now the clever fact here is that minus 2 root 5 times 1 and plus 2 root 5 times 1 cancel out. So they just vanish effectively. However, there's also this fourth term. Now minus 2 root 5 times plus 2 root 5. Now minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. But root 5 times root 5 is 5. So it becomes 4 times 5 with a minus. So this becomes 38 plus 76 root 5 all over 1 take away 20 which is minus 19. So 38 over minus 19 is minus 2. This becomes minus 4, lots of root 5. So if I go back to the original question, I've got a 10, a 7 root 5. However, this is the same as minus 2, take 4 root 5. 10, take 2, is 8, and 7 root 5, take 4 root 5, is 3 root 5. So therefore the answer, in its simplest form, is a plus 3 root 5.